this afternoon I'm going to be making a toasted ham and cheese sandwich uh, but in the air fryer so to start all I need is two slices of uh, bread uh, some cheddar cheese this is the uh, Aldi's British Mature Cheddar Uh, some Aldi's ham, Italian inspired Roma ham. Some butter, and that's all you're going to need. And this is really quick to make. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I need to butter all four sides of the bread, making sure I get all around the edges of it. This won't come out like toast, dry. It will come out crispy on the outside and lovely and soft on the inside. So today, like I said, we're making the ham and cheese one. Uh, later in the week, I'll be doing the cheese and onion, which that too is really good. And the good thing about this, it cooks really quick and you don't need preheat. Right, so that's basically all you need to do to the bread. So the butter can go away. Um, I'm now going to add the ham. It's up to you how much you want to use. You can only use one slice or you can use two slices. Uh, I'm just going to use one today, I think. Uh, just keep it within the confines of the, um, of the bread. Next thing on the top is the cheese. So try and get around the edges with the cheese normally I find if you put the cheese on its side and you slice it it's normally about nine eight to nine slices is enough for one um, one slice of bread or one sandwich whatever you're making um, covering the ham completely so I've done a little bit extra here. I've probably done about nine or ten slices, but if you like cheese, why not? So basically, that's the ham and the cheese sorted. Next thing I'm going to do, the next bit of bread, but on both sides, goes on top, and we put that straight in the air fryer. Right, so the cook time, you've got no preheat with this, which is really, really good. Unlike a um, sandwich toaster, you haven't got to put it on and wait for it to heat up and all that palaver. So this has gone straight into a cold basket. And the cook time is going to be seven minutes at 205 degrees. So after five minutes of that, turn it over. Let it cook off for the last two minutes and you're done. I'm going to turn it over after five minutes and um, I'll show you what it looks like then. Okay, so the toasted cheese sandwich has been in for five minutes. As you can see, that's with no preheat, side one is done. So all I need to do with that is to flick it over. A little bit awkward. Normally use just small spatula which I can sort of get underneath. And that's the side two ready for the last two minutes. in 205 degrees for the remaining two minutes okay so the toaster sandwich has been in for a total of seven minutes now and that's side two that was done for the last two minutes so this is done let's just try and get this out Right, I'm 
she's done. So all that remains to do, normally I'll let this cool down a little bit. It's uh, obviously malt and cheese. Um, See, the outside is nice and crispy, but you're not going to get that dryness all the way through. It's just the outside. You buttered the inside, you've got cheese on the inside, and tidy it up a little bit. So there she is, molten cheese, nice bit of ham, beautifully cooked bit of bread, still nice and tender on the inside, very crispy and golden on the outside. So how much does this work out at? Well, the bread, two slices, say 5p each, 10 pence. The ham, um, 20p, um, and the cheese, 20p say 40 50p so you can call that 50p and I'm going to be having it with a bit of um, Skeeter's smoky chipotle barbecue sauce most people have brown sauce with it which is great but I'm trying to use this up without opening another container of sauce uh, brown sauce is really good or tomato ketchup if you really want um, but I would say if you're not having uh, barbecue sauce and brown sauce, definitely. Uh, and there she is. So for 50p, you're not going to go far wrong with that. Beautiful sandwich. Okay, so later on in the week, uh, I'm going to be doing a cheese and onion uh, toasted sandwich, which is obviously similar to that. Um, so if you would like to see that, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, thanks very much for watching and uh, catch you later.